Hello, boys and girls. It's Pastor Matt. It's good to be with you today. We are going to learn a word of the day. Oftentimes, you watch a kid's TV show, and they'll have a word of the day. And this is a great word of the day. It's a very simple word, very straightforward word, a perfect one. If your parents are doing a little bit of school at home or if you're doing a little bit of work at home for school, this is a great one to add to your spelling list this week. Just a simple, straightforward word. Here it is. I'm going to show it to you right now. Here it is. What do you think of that word? What do you think of that one? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Looks pretty good. Okay, on the count of three, we're all going to sound out. We're all going to say it together. One, two, three. Let's try that again. Ready? One, two, three. How do you say this word? Splank knees oh my. It's actually pretty splank knees oh my. Splank knees oh my. Splank knees oh my. It sounds a little bit German. Splank knees oh my. No, it's actually, it's Greek. It's actually Greek. It's from the, in the New Testament. The, uh, that, that part of the Bible that talks and teaches us all about Jesus was written originally in Greek. And uh, this is a word that's used 12 times in the New Testament, uh, especially around uh, in the Gospels. Uh, those first four books of the New Testament that tell us all about Jesus, his life, his teaching, his death and resurrection. Splechnizomai. So what does splechnizomai mean? What does splechnizomai mean? Here's what it looks like in Greek, if you want to see it in Greek. Interesting looking. Splechnizomai. Splechnizomai. What does splechnizomai mean? It means in the gut. It means like in the tummy. Like means in 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 the gut. Like in the gut. Splechnizomai means like in the gut, in the tummy, in the gut, in the tummy. And there's a really cool moment in the New Testament where splechnizomai is used, and it's a really awesome story Jesus tells. How many of you remember the story of the Good Samaritan? Put your hands up. Let, you, 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 so a lot of you know that story, don't you? The story of the Good Samaritan. What happens in the story of the Good Samaritan? There's a man who is, who, who is robbed. He's beaten up and he's left for dead along the road. He's, he's hurting. And some people pass by. Some people who should help him pass by, but they don't. But then along comes the Samaritan, doesn't he? And when he sees the man, the Bible says, when he sees the man, he has splechnizomai. Splech. Splechnizomai. He has splechnizomai for the man. It says he feels it in the gut. He feels it in the gut for the man. It means he has compassion. That word means when I see someone who's hurting, when I see someone who's in need, I hurt for them. I feel for them. I open up my heart and I feel it. Do you ever feel a strong emotion and you feel it inside? Like maybe you feel really happy and it feels like it's coming out of you. You feel love and you feel it in your heart, right? Like you feel it inside. Or maybe you're scared or nervous. You feel it like the butterflies in your tummy. What this word splechnizomai means, it means is that we feel compassion. We feel for someone. And when the good Samaritan sees the hurting man, the man who's been beaten up and laid along the road, he helps him, right? Isn't that the story? He, 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 he helps bandage him up. He, he puts him on his donkey and takes him to the inn and even pays for him to be cared for. And the reason the Good Samaritan does that is because he has splechnizomai. He feels it inside. It's that word compassion. In fact, in the Bible, the word for compassion means in the gut. It means I feel it inside. And a very, I, last week I talked about a very special way to love is to obey. This week I'm talking about a very special way to love is to hurt for those who are hurting, to feel compassion. We might use the word sympathy, that when I see someone who's maybe lonely, or I see someone who, who, who's scared, or I see someone who's needy, or I see someone who doesn't know God, or I see someone who's being bullied, I feel it inside. I feel it in the gut. I let that. I don't just turn away and be like, "Oh, I don't see it." Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna feel it. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna pretend like I don't see what's going on. Just go on and do what I want to do. But instead, I, I let what I see hit me. Hit me in the gut. Hit me inside. And I'm willing to feel it. And one of the ways that we begin loving someone, particularly when they're hurting, lonely, scared, in need, is we have what the word is compassion. We feel for them. 
and we feel concern for them. And we allow our hearts, if someone's hurting, we hurt with them. When someone's scared, we, 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 have, we, have, we, have, we, feel, we feel sad for them and, and, and sorry for them. We, when we see someone who's in need, our, our heart goes, oh, I, I don't want to see them in need. And we allow ourselves to feel it. And so oftentimes, boys and girls, it's very easy when we see someone who's hurting. We see someone who doesn't have what they need. We see somebody who's being bullied or picked on. We see so, someone who's alone or we see someone who's scared or we see someone who doesn't know God. It's very easy just to pretend like we don't see it. So we may go run and play or do what we want to do. But splechnizomai means compassion, it means I feel it. And if someone's hurting, I hurt with them too. But it's not just that I hurt with them, but I, but I, I reach out and I help them. And because I, I'm willing to open my heart up, well, I'm willing to feel what they feel, it makes me want to love them and serve them and help them. You know, there's one person that the word splatnizomai, compassion, is used for every time it's used in the Bible. It's used 12 times in the New Testament, and every time it's, it's used, it's used either around or by the person, Jesus Christ. You see, God has had love and compassion for us, right? When God saw us in our sin and separated from him, lost and, 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 and without, without, without a hope in the world, what did Jesus do? He had splatnizomai. He, he, felt, he felt compassion and pain for us. And that led him to give up his life on the cross for us. And in fact, the Bible says that in, in, in John chapter 14, it says, My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. How has Jesus loved us? Isn't that what a follower of Jesus is supposed to do, is to be like Jesus? How did Jesus love us? He saw our need, he had compassion for us, and he did something about it. He died on the cross. He saw we had the burden of sin, the, the stain of sin, the, the death of sin on us. And what did Jesus do? He died for that sin so we could be set free. He had splechnizomai for us. He had splechnizomai for us so that we could be set free. And now Jesus tells us we should have compassion and love for others around us. And one of the best ways to have love one of the best ways to, to open our hearts to love is to look at those people around us. And if we see someone hurting, we see someone in need, we allow that, we allow that in. We allow that into our hearts. We allow it into our guts so that we can feel and then love and then help. Boys and girls, we are called to love like Jesus. Split knees am I. Split knees am I. That we will, we're willing to take in what we see. When other people are hurting, we, we, we feel it in our gut. And we love others in need. And so I want to just say a quick prayer and encourage you to love by, by seeing, by having compassion on others and loving others in need. God bless you, boys and girls. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Lord, help us to see the needs of others and to, to open our hearts and to feel it. To have compassion. Help us to see the hurting people around us and help us to love them. Help us not to ignore it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Love you, boys and girls. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Black means am I.